In preparation for our Utah trip, I decided to upgrade the stock suspension on our 4Runner. I didn't think it would take very long since it's just shocks, springs, and upper control arms. But let's just say this is not a how-to video. So uh, this is going to be the lift kit we're going to put on. Uh, we got the uh, Bilstein 6112s uh, that are just a big giant shock compared to the, uh, the ones that are on their stock. And then we have the, uh, what are these, uh, 5160s, so those are the uh, pair up with this, except these have the uh, reservoir in the back. So that just has a, you know, a little piece that goes off to the side, carries a little bit more fluid so it can stay um, cooler longer. Uh, these don't really have them, so, but they're really, really thick, so I don't think it's going to be a problem. It's not the most high-end kit, but I think it should be good for our needs. Um, so we've got uh, OME rear springs. What those are going to do is uh, they're the medium weight springs to compensate for the Nobo and all the stuff that we're going to put in there so it doesn't squat so much. And hopefully in the future we're going to have uh, some sort of metal tire carrier type bumper uh, that's going to have a lot of extra weight. So that should compensate for it. So it should still ride pretty decent. Just got these in uh, today as well. So uh, JB or upper control arms. As you can see, we got a lift on here uh, now. It's, um, I forget the brand name, but if you look kind of the front tire opposed to the back, we lifted it at two and a half inches, but you can kind of see where that front tire, the top of it is kind of leaning out. Um, so, you know, the camber is off just a little bit, which doesn't really affect driving or tire wear, but uh, it would just drive a little bit better and it would be a little bit better for the angles uh, to have these extended upper control arms and uh, they actually look pretty damn cool too I mean uh, they don't quite match but they I mean they're pretty really cool they're adjustable um, so what else so I got the front springs as well these are gonna slide over um, these giant shocks right here and then these jo these shocks are also adjustable for using these little rings right here um, these set the height of the vehicle we're gonna go ahead and put it all the way up to the top which should give it two and a half of inches of lift which is pretty much what's on there right now I've never actually done coil springs so uh, hopefully I don't kill myself doing it I got to go get a spring compressor but um, I know this is gonna be the hardest part because you got to get the spring compressor and actually compress the springs down and switch some parts over from the old shocks. And uh, I guess if uh, if you're not careful, these can really hurt you. So um, well, I got that to do. I kind of saved some money because it's probably like a hundred dollars a shock for them to do it for you. I could have probably saved time, but I wanted to do it myself. And I'm trying to be as budget friendly as possible. So I'm going to take this project on myself tomorrow. Um, and uh, looks like that's about it. I mean, it's a simple, uh, simple lift. It's not too crazy. It's not Icon, but uh, like I said, I don't think I would get the full use out of an Icon uh, suspension system because we're just not driving it that hard. Um, this is going to be just like an everyday driver. Plus, I want to be able to have a little fun when we go to Moab, but that um, eh, should be good for our needs. Uh, Bilstein makes a good product. Reviews are good, so. Um, really excited about the upper uh, control arms so I mean they look cool and uh, they should fix that uh, out of camber problem but anyway that's what I got uh, it comes with a uh, religious CD which is kind of unexpected pretty strange but uh, that's fine whatever you know cool so, uh, anyway uh, I guess I'm gonna start this project tomorrow so wish me luck and if you don't hear from me it's because one of them quail springs uh, hit me in the face. So this is a time lapse of me putting on the upper control arms on the 4Runner. I started the recording a bit late. I wasn't sure if anybody would actually want to see this. There's so many videos out there on YouTube of how to do it the right way and more professional than mine. But Miss Standard Overland insisted that I record it. I personally think she just wanted to catch me on video launching tools across the garage in frustration like normal. Joke's on her this time though, things were actually going really well at this point. I removed the old upper control arms, the shocks, and everything else really easily by dropping the lower control arms first. The new upper control arms from JBA went in really, really quickly, I was pretty happy about that. 
But that's kind of when I started getting cocky and it caught up to me later on. All right, so uh, I put lifts on before um, and it always takes longer than I think. So I thought this was going to be done in a day. I got the uh, um, upper control arms on and everything like that. They look great. I'm pretty happy with them. Okay, they look great. Um, they went on pretty easy. I got stuck at a standstill here um, because I uh, know I need to probably hit the gym a little bit, but uh, there's just not enough ass to compress these uh, aftermarket springs with this uh, AutoZone coil compressor. Even if you're using a breaker bar or something just not enough so we had to go out and buy a pretty pretty solid impact uh, which costs more than I would have paid to get the springs put together I think it's like $200 so I'm just gonna pay for it next time so, but uh, I think I'm still gonna get it done tonight uh, I'm still twerking on this hopefully it doesn't explode and kill me but if it doesn't then uh, I should be done tonight or tomorrow morning I haven't actually got to the back yet but uh, I always say I hope it goes a little quicker than the front, but you never know. I didn't foresee this being a big problem. The other ones came off so easy. Everything was going really well, and just production just came to a stop. So uh, it's hot as balls out here. Um, and I moved it halfway into the garage thinking I would be done. So now we can't close the garage. Um, but I'm going to keep working on it here. I think I got it pretty close to where I need it. Um, and uh, just keep chugging away. The shocks still look good. Kind of scratched them up a little bit using these shitty uh, spring compressors. But oh well, it's not a uh, it's not a beauty queen. So as long as they work, that's all that matters. So anyway, I'll give you an update later on. All right, so it's Sunday morning. Uh, I couldn't get that spring compressor to work uh, on these new coil springs at all. So I went ahead and took it back to AutoZone. And uh, they asked me if it worked. I told them no. Uh, I started looking around for places around Brunswick, Georgia to uh, maybe put the struts together for me. And uh, no, there's not. This place is terrible. Anyway, so AutoZone did offer me the uh, this power built right here. Uh, this is like the ass kicker 5000 because I think that if uh, if this thing doesn't work I don't know what would um, so we're gonna give this a shot and I think this will compress the hell out of the spring because this one's actually meant for a torque wrench so if this spring doesn't come flying out and hit one of us I uh, should get everything together hopefully but uh, it costs $200 to rent but you get your $200 back from AutoZone so that's pretty cool um, so we're gonna give it we're going to try to get this done in the next 20 minutes. If it does work, it should only be about a 20 minute job. So we're going to give it a try and I'll let you know how it works. Lord have mercy. Looks so easy on the internet. safety cables. Oh, by the way, I'm open to all criticism on this. Uh, like I said, I've never done it before. Hell no, what the hell are you doing? 
They're welcome to come over here and do it. Absolutely. Now, if I jack this up, then that means I don't got to work. Go to work tomorrow. I'm pretty cool with that, actually. All right. So. Yeah, but if it means you're in the hospital. <laughs> it means I don't, I don't have to help with laundry. Because you need help with the laundry so much. <gasps> oh. Wait, don't you have to put the collar on the bottom? Yes. The fact that I know that, I'm just going to let that go. Damn it, cut, cut, cut. <laughs> there we go. I wonder what had to vacate my brain in order to make room for that. Is something pretty important. Got it. <gasps> 20 minutes. I wasn't going to comment when you said that. I saw the look on your face. Huh. Future reference pay the people. I can't say it enough. Pay the people to put your springs together. Pay them. It's almost as if they do it for a living. Yeah, I know a lot of people that do stuff for a living don't know what the hell they're doing. Hmm. Yeah, something doesn't seem right. Maybe the problem is we don't need to use the safety cables. Oh yeah, I think <laughs> that's, that's definitely... So I uh, couldn't get it figured out, so I had to take it to a professional. So we're at a good friend of mine's house, and he's going to try to help me out. Alright, so how's this stack? So we're back from my uh, friend's house. Um, he knows more about this stuff than me. And I have his tools now, so this will be the third set, but I'll buy him new ones. Fourth set, fourth set. So, says my uh, lovely camera lady. Um, so, uh, I'm kind of at a loss here because these aren't, these aren't supposed to be the heavy duty springs. You know, I don't know why they're it's a biatch to compress them 
and everybody's having trouble so it's not just me which kind of helps my ego a little bit um, but it really doesn't help my situation um, I think if if I went lower on the on the shocks uh, on the settings I, I wouldn't get the full 2.5 which is what I want because that's what it's at now um, so I want to keep that and that's another reason why I'm being so bullheaded about this I could probably get them on there at a lower setting but you know what's the use of buying these shocks if you have to put them on a lower setting in order to get them to work um, so I'm gonna try this one more time I got a few more ideas it's getting pretty sketchy though so um, this is definitely not a freaking how-to video so don't anybody ever take it as that and, uh, only th this would probably be better if I was drinking a little but uh, I'm not <laughs> but I, I guess we'll figure it out got them all on. Um, I actually don't know what we did uh, that much different. Um, we just torqued them down and these seem like they were uh, the ones I got from my buddy Wheeler are a little bit higher quality than the ones that I get to be at the Auto Zone because um, I mean, we took this thing right here went out and bought it and that thing is awesome um, and the other ones just didn't have enough I don't know threading or what but it, they stopped and then they binded whereas these we just kept on grinding until they were almost touching and that's where we got it down so uh, on the driver's side we have this one on the seventh notch and this one on the fifth notch according to the instructions so I'm not even gonna make an estimate how long this shit's gonna take but I am gonna try to start putting them in and hopefully I get them done sometime soon but every time I my estimation is uh, I'm usually like way beyond that <coughs> I'm not uh, I'm not saying anything I'm just gonna go ahead and try to put them back in so all right well, I'll let you know how it goes all right we're on day three of the lift uh, I finally got the front end on um, we just had to just grind down on those um, coil spacers to get them where they needed to go but we finally got them on there and good to go one of the things that I'm kind of worried about is I feel like I had I think it was a rough country spacer lift one of those polyurethane spacer lifts and it was supposed to be two and a half inches but I think that either they were more than two and a half inches or this uh, Bilstein lift is not giving us the full two and a half inches up front so I'm a little concerned about that uh, not sure where that's gonna leave me somewhere like Bilstein says that you're supposed to put uh, those spacer rings that we talked about on the passenger side you're supposed to put the ring on uh, the fifth ring and on the driver's side on the tallest ring to get the most um, 
upward movement. However, there's they do that to compensate for the Toyota's traditional lean that they have. Um, that's because all the weight is on the left side of the vehicle. For some reason, it's still an inch higher in the passenger side. And most of my components are good. I didn't see anything bad into there. So I'm not exactly sure why I'm still having a lift and why I lost some some height, but I'm not I'm gonna have to figure that out because it is bothering me. But I've already got that on. That might have something to do with the alignment, I'm not sure. But right now I'm gonna go ahead and work on the back. So I got that out. So we're good to go in these. Well, I, I need those. Uh, but I got the shocks off. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, Take the sway bar links off, that way I can kind of jack up one side, drop those coils, put the new coils in, and I'm not making any estimates on how long this is going to take, but I'm going to be out here until it gets done, so I'll give you an update. Alright, so, one coil spring out, uh, oh, there it is, okay, uh, bump stop, and this is the old spacer, I don't think it has a, uh, I don't think it has a brand name on it, but it's just a coil spring spacer. Um, this is the new uh, OME 889 X-Ray, or the, um, it's the mid-length. Is that two inches right there? Well, anyway, this one's supposed to be a lot harder to come. <laughs> I can tell the difference right there. This spring is the medium weight, so it should help compensate for the trailer, but... Yeah, it's a lot. There's a lot more ass behind that one right there. The coil's supposed to be two inches taller? Yeah. Doesn't quite look like it, does it? You measure it. Wanna measure it? Yeah, let's measure it. Do you have the tape measure? So far, uh oh. That last lift, I think it was two and a half in the front and one and a half in the back. So I would think that because of this lift, it was supposed to be. Oh, it goes upside down. So that's how that rode like that. So, so that's about. 15 and a half. Well, there yeah, I guess. It just doesn't seem like it, but maybe it is. Alright. All I know is I'm not thrilled with Bilstein right now. It's, it just seems like their two and a half inch kit is not actually two and a half inches. But maybe it's just my ignorance. I guess we'll figure it out. Hey, the wood shock's almost on. I don't like that they use uh, hose clamps. I knew that they did anyway. I guess if that's how they're saving money, I'm okay with that. But I don't know. It just it kind of takes away from it a little bit. Huh? I'm being high maintenance here, but I don't know if I like that. It does. I don't know. Seems kind of. Seems like some ghetto shit that I would come up with. Hey, put the hose clamps on there and hold it down. So, I think they're going bye bye. Honestly, I've seen some other, some better looking Bilstein reservoir holders, and I think that's what we're gonna do instead. So finally, I got the lift put together. Everything's good to go. Finally got it all sorted out. One thing I was kind of noticing, I was kind of worried about losing a little height, but honestly, everything was where it was supposed to be. It was just the wheel was a little too far forward. One of the cool things about JBA upper control arms is they send you all sorts of information, including the alignment specs to get to the shop. Once the alignment was done, everything fell into place, and with the wheels back in their normal spot, everything looked right. The back end is definitely taller than I thought it would be, but it rides really well. Now it just kind of motivates me to hurry up and buy that double swing arm off-road bumper I've been looking at.
All right, well, that's it for now. I hope you guys will stay tuned. There's more videos to come.